Thanks. Wait. <laughs> you were Thank rude. God you saved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that thing about being a museum, so it is. You, you just forget that you're next to mm. such important things and every now and then you, you sort of walk... Okay, so we, um, we do lots of different work uh, and all of our work is very focused on our audience. And the role that we have is really to take our collections, the objects the museum looks after, and interpret those and, and make, help the visitors make sense of those things. So we use a, a big variety of different ways of doing that, partly depending on who the, who the audience is. So sometimes we might use graphics, sometimes we might use film, sometimes it's just about showing the object and lighting it beautifully, and sometimes we use computer games. And games work really well for particular segments of the audience, so they work very well for younger people. Um, they're not always good at helping interpret the objects, they're often better at helping people to understand concepts, how the objects were used, um, or how objects were made, rather than necessarily understand the significance of an object, though sometimes we do that as well. Um, and I would like to see a point in the not too distant future where we stop talking about digital as something different, it's just a tool that we use to help interpret the collections. And I think all the time that we continue to talk about it as something different, we privilege it above some of those other tools in a way that it really doesn't deserve. And part of my role is to make sure that we're using digital where it's really appropriate, be that games or digital interpretation, but we're pushing back all the time in the museum where we don't think it's appropriate and we think there are other ways of better interpreting the collection. So I spend as much time telling people not to do digital things as I do creating and making great digital stuff for the museum. So what's your favorite part of Science Museum? Well, I think my, fav my favorite thing in the museum, and still I've been there for 30 years, is still walking through the museum and you suddenly realize you're next to Stevenson's original rocket, the, one of the first steam trains, and you walk past it every day, and every now and then you walk past it and realize really what you're doing and how significant that is, and that still sends an absolute shiver down my spine. I, I'm next to these things, and I'm getting privileged access to these things all the time, and often you take it for granted, and every now and then you need to remember that this is an amazing place to be, an amazing place to work, and I'm so lucky to kind of be around all of these amazing things. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.